Hi, it's Matt here, and this video is going to be a real quick one on a TechSumo build. Now, my TechSumo builds are not normal, as in the, the carbon fiber they give us out of the box, uh, I never use. And uh, I'm using the run cam in my hands, so it's going to be a little bit shaky, so apologies up front. Uh, so if we move around, the first thing you're going to spot is how shiny the TechSumo is. And the reason for that is that we've been using Goop Glue. And uh, this is the, the plumbing, plumbing version, so the, the Goop Glue plumbers in a collection of different uh, types and the plum, plumbing type it appears to be like the best type which you can use. Uh, it just seems to set quicker and gives a much nicer finish. Uh, I have used the marine version as well and that really does stink. Uh, so by the way, if you're going to use Goop Glue on your planes then make sure you do it outside or if you do do it indoors then leave the building because it absolutely reeks. But what it does do is it's really, really spongy and um, gives like a rubberized finish. So instead of like laminating uh, the wing, which will then come out, come off later on, goo glue just stays on there forever. Now, moving on to the point of carbon fiber is that I didn't use any of the standard strips which they gave us. Instead, what I've done is that you'll see right from that servo all the way across underneath the motor mount, all the way across to the other servo. I've added another piece all the way across here as well. Again, the, this one's going to be actually a very small build with a little Turnigy D2830 uh, thousand kV motor. So it's not going to be like a massive speed demon. But even still, the, the amount of thrust pushing forwards, a couple of rough landings, spending just like 10 minutes more to put some carbon fiber rods in here uh, is well worth it. So we've got the ones running full length across the top, again across the front as well. And then the, the bit which I had about six, seven inches left off from this one, uh, I ran across the front. Now, if you're thinking carbon fiber rods are expensive, you can pick up a pack of five of them from Banggood for like three quid. Uh, not, not even that now. And then on the flip side, so on the underside, what we've also been done is been and mirrored that. Now, I did make a point of offsetting uh, the carbon rod underneath. So it's not right up underneath the, the corner of the servo. It is much further, it's about a centimeter further down. And again, that nicely matches up uh, underneath the motor mount as well. And of course, you put the carbon fiber rods in before you put the um, mount in. And we run those across there. Again, about a similar position. We've got a couple of dabs of hot glue. Uh, and the reason why we've got the dabs of hot glue there is because that's where the uh, C of G is. So uh, according to the manual, it was uh, about a centimeter range. So we just marked them up with a pencil, just put a couple of dabs of hot glue. And that makes it much, much easier uh, working out the C of G. And again, for uh, one like this, which has got a much smaller setup on my TechSumo, it just balanced perfectly out of the box. And I've never checked the C of G on it. It just flies just seamlessly every single time. But this one, uh, again, th this one isn't for me. This is for a colleague. Uh, and I know he'll want to check the CFG. And again, we're only going to use a much smaller motor uh, and a little 1.3 3S battery sat in here in the front. So carbon fibre rod there, there, and what we had left over uh, um, in front, just, um, sorry, just uh, behind uh, the battery slot. Also, what I've been and done is run like the eight inches or so, or 25 centimeters of uh, carbon fiber rod down the nose, and they do cross over in this nose piece as well. Again, if, you should, if she's going to go in the ground, typically if she'll go in the ground nose first, having the carbon fiber rod uh, in the front will help dissipate that impact um, uh, out through the wing. And again, you'll see that I've been to put goop glue on here as well. It's loads and loads of goop on the front. Uh, I've put goop around the uh, electronic slot. And the reason why I've been and done that uh, is that if I want to put tape or the uh, Rich wants to put tape uh, to, to hold uh, like an ID card down to keep the speed control and everything in situ, uh, tape sticks really, really well to goop glue. Uh, also to make a point here is that in the electronics part, I've put an ID card in there. So that's stuck in there. Uh, so I've just scuffed one up. Uh, put CA glue in the bottom, uh, put CA glue on the back, pop that in, let it set, uh, and then I've just put some Velcro in there as well. And again, with the front, I've been and done exactly the same uh, with an ID card, just popped it in there, cut the line down, 
and made it fit. And then also what I've been and done is got the goop glue, taken the lid off, uh, just used a, an off cut of a, of a um, uh, ID card, and then I've just pasted it in around the edges. And again, I've also been and done that for the battery pack. So on the battery packs, it's got a lovely little hole there for a 1.3 battery, but uh, to get it to sit right down, you also need to carve out a little edge around there. And again, I've just coated that with goop glue as well. Now, the last two uh, areas I'm just going to point out is number one is that around the motor mount, so I hope that's in focus for you, is that I've been to put lots and lots of goop glue. And again, if we've got a dodgy propeller, which we don't spot until later, uh, the goop glue there will help spread any of the vibration across the, the uh, main part of the fuselage of the wing. And again, with the goop glue, I've been to put lots and lots and lots of rounds here, again, to dissipate uh, any vibration. And the reason why I do that is that on my first tech simulator, which I had, I actually had the motor main rip off uh, due to just an imbalanced propeller. So just a little bit of goop glue there will make it last much longer. Also a point here as well, and I'll just bring the camera across, I've run the goop glue all the way along the Elevon uh, on both sides. Now it does make them a little bit stiffer uh, to, to be pulled around, but again, I've had mine on my original one, uh, they went on my second one, I had a rough landing uh, and it rolled, and it went knock, 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 and one of the other, and one of the other ones came off, and uh, just a little bit of goo glue there, a little bit of preventative maintenance. Uh, it will help this tech sumo last much longer. Oh, and the final note as well is that we will be using metal gear servos uh, in the wings, like so, uh, so that they've got plenty of torque and plenty of life in them. Um, just seeing from my other tech sumos and even from the bonsais. Uh, sticking plastic gear servos is really false economy because uh, they just don't last and uh, for a little bit more in my case that they actually work out cheaper than plastic gear servos uh, will make your uh, flying experience a lot better and just save you from trashing it in the air. So that's uh, just a quick insight into a tech sumo build. Uh, lots and lots of carbon fiber, lots and lots of goop glue and again the goop glue runs all the way up the sides. Uh, on the leading edge and the one task which I've got left now besides just popping the servos in uh, and the electronics underneath and of course the motor on the back as well is that I'm just going to put some extra goop glue all the way along this front edge as well just to give it a second layer of protection. So for myself Matt I genuinely hope this video has been a help to you and I'll see you next time. Cheerios!